Hi guys, Bash here. So today I'm out at the Bremington, the board worker targeting for squid, the daytime squid. A lot of people said squid can only caught at light time. That's not true. Um, at a few of uh, spot at a push sound, you can still get the daytime squid. Um, now it's a little bit late for Bremington already, but I just think think want to give a try and see whether I can get some decent size of daytime squid uh, let me show you guys my gears today so at here this is my seven foot and a six uh, light weight of the spinning rod 3000 reel this is my eight pound of line uh, over there I'm using the uh, jig today I'm using a two of third ounce jig because as you can see it here, the water is quite strong. And the water is quite strong and it's quite deep. That's why I'm using a heavier jig so that the jig can sink to the bottom quicker and can stay in the spot. Okay, let's go there, cast out and see our luck today. Yes, squid. That's a big squid. First one. Nice. Yeah, for squid fishing, I feel like the most important thing is you need really to feel the bite of the squid. Uh, like when you pull, you pull harder. When you uh, sink the jig, just sink slowly. The squid, they will push at the bottom of your jig. You will feel all in a sudden uh, you touch to the bottom, but actually that's not the bottom. That's the squid. They are pushing your jig. At that time, you pull hard. Yes. Oh, oh. lost it. Like if you just lost a squid like I did, uh, don't worry. They will still be here. Just uh, jig at the same spot patiently. You will eventually get it back. Oh, yeah, here it is. Just feel the bite. Yes. Whoa, um, but to be able to feel the bottom, you have to test uh, where is the real bottom. So you know that's a lot of bottom, but you somehow feel like you are landed to the bottom. That's because the squid they are struggling from the bottom of the jig. That's why you feel like you light uh, your jig get lighter. At that time, you just pull. So that is how you fish for squid out here. Um, that's in general for most of the place like. The um, strike the jig, you feel your jig set get lighter. Uh, I think I got another one. Yes, beautiful. Good size. Yeah. Come on. Hey. Yeah, that's what I said. Wow, that's a giant. That's a giant, beautiful. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, now it's just long stopping. Yeah, another one. Oh, that's a giant. <gasps> yes, another one. They're a little bit small. Oh, another squid. Another one. Hey guys, I'm back at home now. So I'm going to cook some of the squid we caught this afternoon for dinner. Um, fresh squid, it's very simple to cook and they are sweet. 
um, very good for eating. My son loves it a lot. Uh, actually, everyone of my family likes it a lot. So uh, let's show you guys how to clean and cook it uh, right now. Take one squid, for example, show you guys how to clean it. See, this is a uh, squid we caught this afternoon, a uh, really big size for the summer squid. Uh, it's almost the winter squid size. And here you find this is a mouse. You just cut this through it. Yeah. And then you drag everything out. Yeah. That one is good enough. And uh, this is a shell. You, that's why squid is called uh, considered as a shellfish. Shellfish. That's because they have this soft shell. And this part, um, I usually keep this uh, uh, small foot. Um, what I do, I just use my hand, remove the end, like which will squeeze all the eyeball, and then uh, here, inside. The, the other side, they have the small mouse. You have to clean the mouse out. So now you get this two piece, which is clean. Just open the water and clean them. Yeah. Yeah, this two piece are good now. Now let's start cooking the boiling water. This is the cooking wine. A little bit. This is a squid we just cleaned and cut to small pieces. about one minute after one minute it's reboiling let's get them back to the plate season the soy sauce for seafood put on top green onion Avocado oil, until it's really hot. Now you can see the oil is really hot. We will just need to put the oil on top of the green onion. So let's do it. Hot oil. Okay, now the dish is done. Uh, let me try one for you guys. Really, really good. Fresh squid, you can do calamari, but uh, from my view, that's a waste of squid. Use this uh, way, simple way to cook. It's very fresh and very sweet. Really good. Um, you guys should try it next time. Hope you liked today's video. Thanks for watching and see you guys next time. Bye bye.